Good evening. We're back with more Marvel Champions, and this evening we'll be playing Shadow Cat versus Magneto on Expert Difficulty. This is the final scenario of the Mutant Genesis campaign. So we need the future past card shuffled into the deck, which has already been done. Only one is remaining, that is Nano Sentinel Tech. Don't need Jubilee. We need the captive allies, though, and there they are. And we need a random upgrade, which has been chosen. That was Swagger. We also need the Magneto's Fortress side scheme, which is already out there. So Swagger goes over here, and the allies go into the deck. And we'll shuffle up. Uh, that hand's not bad. I want to keep Wolf Spain. I don't necessarily need Cannonball. So, do I want to flip to. I also owe one encounter card for Magneto's text. Definitely want to get out Wolf Spain. Get rid of that toughness on Magneto and deal two damage. Shadowcat can simply ignore Magneto's Fortress whenever phased. I'm not sure she ne necessarily needs to deal with it because the flip side gives Magneto plus one, plus one to his stats. So we can go flip. We can go jump flip. So we could thwart first, or attack first. Go Shadow Cat Surprise for 3 damage. Ready up. Shadow Cat Surprise flips us into phased. So now we can ignore the Crisis icon and thwart for 2 off of Boarding Party. And then we'll also get out Electrostatic Armor and then we'll draw 5. So, one threat, one attack from Magneto. And we'll use Defiance to trigger defensive mode so we don't take any damage. And we're going to have two encounter cards to deal with. After Magneto attacks, he gets one Magnet counter. Master of Magnetism, take the top Magnetic card in the encounter pile and give it to Magneto as a boost card. Magneto activates against you. There are no magnetic cards in the discard pile, so it's just going to be a magneto activation. We're now in solid form. So magneto activates, and the damage I think will go on Shadow Cat. Do I want a defensive energy for Never Back Down? I probably won't be able to defend without any damage unless this boost card is just a 1. If it's 2, I won't be able to. We'll try it. So he's got steadies. Actually, stunning him is meh, is meh because it takes 2 stuns in order to do anything. He should have taken 1 uh, electrostatic armor damage. But he actually can't go below 14, so that wouldn't matter because of the boarding party. Um, I could use Swagger now. Plus 3 defense, ready Shadow Cat, so I'm at 5 now. So it's 1, 2, 3. Shuffle each Acolyte from the discard pile into the deck. There are none. So no damage. And then the second encounter card is Magnetic Missile. Defeat a Sentinel in play, then take 5 damage. You may discard X cards from your hand to prevent X of that damage. Uh, okay. Well, there's no Sentinels in play, so... Do we still do the second part? We probably do. Okay, actually I looked it up, and the then text means... If there's no Sentinel, then there's no damage, so this is just a blank surge into exhaustion with a surge. Caught off guard gets rid of the electrostatic armor. Not a terrible turn though, overall. Uh, let's go ahead and solid plus 
Fender's Mansion for Shadow Cat Surprise. Well, it readies my hero. I can't do damage though. I still think I need to do it. So he doesn't take damage, but I can still ready. And phased, and then I can go ahead and take out boarding party. Flip over to sabotage master mold. And go ahead and deal two damage to Magneto, and then draw three. So one threat on attack from Magneto, and we'll use defensive energy and never back down. Draw a card with defensive energy, so we're in defense mode. No damage, add one stun, and then one encounter card, which will be, that's going to be the second magnetic counter. Actually, that should be the third magnetic counter because Magneto had an extra attack in there. So then we discard until we find a magnetic card, which is electric shock. You're stunned and take three damage. And then we got to reveal another encounter card up to that, which is Imrod's portal. That's tough. And we're on to the player phase in solid form now. So we can get out Professor X here. And ready up. So we can use Shadow Cat, get rid of her stun. And ready her up with Professor X. He can thwart for three. Take out Nimrod's portal, discard two, and take two boost. Or, so that's six damage, ouch. Six indirect damage, and one, two, three, four, five, six, that hurts. But it does take out Nimrod's portal off to the victory display. And then Shadow Cat, we're still solid, so there's no thwarting. We're going to thwart Magneto's Fortress. I think I'm going to have to get rid of it. We'll draw five. And we got one threat. We got one attack incoming, which will go on Professor X. And then one encounter card. So there should be one magnetic counter now. Under fire, it's two more encounter cards. Delgado. Discard each stunned and confused status card from the villain. Oh, when defeated. Wrapped in metal. Attached identity. Cannot thwart, attack, defend, or recover, exhaust, and spend a strength resource to deal with that. Okay. Well, this is tough. We can use Kitty's room to get out Deft Focus. Use the two of them so we can exhaust and spend Boom Boom to get her wrapped in metal. And use Solid and Deft Focus to Shadow Cat Surprise for three. Ready up. Shadow Cat for two. I think I'll have to flip, and that's probably going to lose me the game. These uh, Saint schemes have brutally small advance requirements for the boss, and they're pretty brutal when they do advance. That is where a lot of the difficulty of this scenario comes from. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do better. I'll have to flip or I'm going to die. And we'll draw five. 
So one threat, one scheme. This is an attack. It isn't so schemes and completes the scheme. Place one magnetic counter. If sabotage master mold is not on the victory display, it's not. Search for an M type sentinel and reveal it. And then we've got a scheme from Delgado, a scheme from M type sentinel and an encounter card, Shadow of the Past. So it's Hellfire Club, White Queen. Oof, okay, well. That is painful. So I can heal for three. Flip. Go. Yeah, there, there's no way. I am going to lose next turn. Solid and tangible. Never back down for phased strike. Take out White Queen. Flip to phased. And we'll go energy barrier and then draw five. I didn't draw a defense card. That's rough. Uh, but unfortunately, the main scheme completes. Two counters. Search for a magnetic attachment. looking for is the one that gives him plus one scheme. Must be in the discard pile. Okay. And then Magneto's going to attack and we'll have to exhaust to defend. Attack will be for three, four, five, six, seven, but no damage. One magnetic counter though. And then we have to discard until a magnetic cat card is revealed. Electromagnetic blast, exhaust each upgrade and support you control. Place one magnet counter. That would be in solid form now. We also have attacks from the Sentinel and from Delgado. Two, three, four damage, so we can take out the energy barrier, do three in return. This card's done. Give him a boost card. And we take one damage. And then we got one encounter card incoming. Electric shock. You're stunned. Take one damage for each magnetic counter. Well, I didn't die that turn, so that was more than I was expecting. Let's go acute control for air walk and get rid of Hellfire Club. We have to search for a Hellfire Pawn. Guard Patrol and Surge. We'll get out unflappable. Draw four. So if you can't if you're stunned, does that mean you can't play powerful punch? Yeah, it does. I think. So anyway, we're just dead now. Attack from Magneto. Can quick shift over to phased and exhaust the defend. 
Oops, quick shift over to phase. Um, so I'll take no damage. Give Magneto a boost card and a tough card. And then another boost card. Exhaust each ally. So no damage, unflappable. But then we got one, two, three, four. The other thing I could have done is defended with Wolfsbane, he would die. But then the damage from the Sentinel and the Hellfire Bond would kill Shadowcat. So that will end that attempt. I wouldn't say we came that close to winning. So the thing about Shadowcat, the thing about most of the heroes that are good because they're really strong in defense, that would be heroes like Shadowcat, Ghost Spider, uh, Venom, Spider-Man, these are very strong defensive heroes, Captain America. They're pretty good in expert mode against expert mode scenarios in which you don't face a lot of extra encounter cards because they're very good at defending one attack. Like Shadow Cat can defend one attack very well, but then she flips to phased and she flips to solid after the attack. And then if there's a second attack, she's pretty fragile if she's not in phased with the nine HP and only two defense. And Magneto is a scenario that likes to give you a lot of encounter cards. When he reveals, he gives you one. When he gets three magnet counters, he gives you an extra one. Essentially an extra encounter card. And so he also has ways of dealing damage besides his attacks. And so Shadowcat, this scenario may be beyond her. But we'll try it again and we'll see. And if we have to swap to Spider Ham to get it done, that's fine. Spider Ham is the big dog in solo play. But let's try with Shadow Cat one more time. Okay, so I had the table state saved from the beginning so we can accelerate the setup. Just shuffle up and deal. I think it would take a lot of luck to do this scenario with Shadow Cat, unfortunately. But uh, Magneto doesn't feel difficult in a way that feels unfair, necessarily. So I don't think his difficulty is, is bad like Ronin's was, or even Venom Goblin, where he was, he had very, a couple of very imbalanced encounter cards. I think Magneto is just difficult in a way that a lot of heroes aren't very good at dealing with, which is he brings in too many challenges at once for the hero to handle. Let's see, we'll go Power of Protection and Powerful Punch for Jocasta, and we'll put Attach Powerful Punch to her. And we'll flip over to Shadow Cat. We'll go Defiance Jump Flip for Energy Barrier. Use Shadow Cat to get rid of Magneto's Fortress, which gives him the plus one. We'll use Jocasta to thwart Boarding Party. No, I don't think I actually can get rid of Magneto's Fortress. Well, we'll use Jocasta to do that. We'll use Shadow Cat to attack Magneto. And then we can flip over into phased and draw five. No, actually I don't want to do that. I forgot I have a powerful punch, so I want to thwart and thwart and stay in solid and then draw five. I think last attempt I forgot about swagger. Maybe it could have helped me survive a little longer. It probably could have, but I wasn't going to win that. So Magneto attacks, and we'll go Solid and Intangible Interference for Powerful Punch. Deal 4 damage. Flip over to Phased, and we're in defensive mode thanks to the Powerful Punch. It's a counterintuitive ruling, but that's what it is. So no damage, and then we got two encounter cards coming, one from the start of the game 
and one normally. Master of Magnetism, take the topmost magnetic card in the encounter discard pile and give it to Magneto as a boost card and then he activates. It's going to be Electric Shock. So he's going to activate his attack will be through a 3, 4, 5, 6 plus another card and that's going to have to go on Jocasta. Okay, no problem. And then we got a second encounter card, which is Advance. That's going to advance the main scheme, unfortunately. Place one Magnet Counter here. If Sabotage Master Mold is not on the victory display, it's not. So that brings in a M-Type Sentinel. Okay. So, we're not phased anymore after the attack. We can go 2 damage. And then play those two for flow like water and then we'll draw 4. So, one threat, Magneto will attack and will powerful punch with solid and defensive energy to draw a card and that'll be 4 damage again but it caps out at 6 because of boarding party flip to phased and we're in defensive mode so no damage and then 2 damage from the M-type sentinel uh, when we flow like water we get 1 damage to the attacking enemy but again it caps out so them type Sentinel 2 off of the energy barrier reflected back at him and then one encounter card Metal Shards deal one damage to each character you control plus one magnetic counter on the main scheme there should have been one after the attack one more is three and that's going to mean a second encounter card revealed Magneto's helmet not that bad And we're on to the hero phase. We got another powerful punch, that's good. Let's go energy for another energy barrier. Shadow Cat, take out the Sentinel and give Magneto toughness. And probably we'll throw away phased strike. Um, now after I attacked I needed to flip to phased so I think I'm just going to drop phased strike and then draw three. So one threat, we're in phased mode, so when Magneto attacks we'll go quick shift and draw two. Put us in defensive mode so that the attack deals no damage. Flip back to solid, we also get a flow like water damage to get out, rid of the toughness. And we got one encounter card coming, which is Bastion. That's a tough enemy. So, do I want to damage or to thwart? Probably to thwart. So, let's take out the toughness on Bastion and then flip to phased. Let's go. Never back down for air walk and get rid of the threat here. Actually, I think I want to be solid. So let's not get rid of the toughness yet. Which means no air walk yet either. First we're going to go one, two for Lockheed and deal two damage. Which will get rid of the toughness. Then we'll go one for boarding party. Flip over to Sabotage Master Mold. We'll go Shadow Cat to deal 2 damage, and then we'll flip to Phased. And then, show a key powerful punch, get rid of acute control. Where did I put the. Oh, I put the Airwalk back in the wrong place. 
So for Lockheed, we're using a Q control power in all of us. Everything else is the same, paying for airwalk. So I want to actually get rid of, I think I want to get rid of Sabotage Master Mold. So that brings in Orbital Decay. And I don't ever want to flip to, well, yeah, I have to flip to phase for the airwalk. Yeah, that resolves everything. So one, two, three, four. I'm glad I drew that defensive card, otherwise I might have been in a little trouble. So one threat, one attack from Magneto. Go Defiance. So no damage. Flip back to solid. We do get a magnetic counter. Bastion will attack for two. We get a flow like water damage. Bastion will attack for two. One, two. He is villainous. So he gets a boost card. Give Magneto a tough status card and a boost card. And then we got one encounter card incoming, which is Amelia Vaught. Stalwart, teamwork. Player who defeated Amelia Vaught is confused. If they're already confused, place two threat on the main scheme. Okay. Um, we can go Shadow Cat for two. Solid plus Shadow Cat Surprise for Shadow Cat Surprise for one, two, three. Add a confused. We'll use her action to remove the confused. Draw three. Stay solid. So one threat, one attack. Solid plus cannonball for powerful punch. Gonna remove the toughness. And then we can flip to phased and flow like water for one damage. Exhaust your identity. So no damage. Bastion will deal two. And it gets a boost card for one. Counter card. Magnetic counter, Nimrod. Yikes. These are tough cards. Probably not going to win this, and I think I've missed a couple of little things that would have hurt me additionally. Not sure, though. For the hero phase, what can I actually do? I can get out Wolfsbane. Go one, two. I have no chance of taking out 19 HP and enemies, really. Draw five. So I can go one threat, one attack from Magneto. I'm not phased, though. Um... I guess we'll put the attack on Wolfsbane, but uh, yeah, I don't think there's much point to continuing this. Exhaust your identity. Five damage. I get jump flip for one of it. Using uh, Deft Focus to remove two threat. And then one encounter card. Actually, there's going to be a magnet card this round. Magnetic missile. There's no sentinel. Oh, there is a sentinel out. So defeat a sentinel minion in play. And take five damage. So I have to discard three cards from my hand. In order to not die. Or two cards. One, two, three, four, five. But it does defeat Nimrod. 
That does surge though into a scheme for four, five, six, seven. Place two magnetic counters. There's no physical strain, so we have to look for a magnet attachment. Guess it's the retaliate one. That's brutal. And then we're on to the player phase, but there's nothing that I can do here. Except draw four and then die. Okay, well, I think this scenario is probably too hard for Shadowcat to get a high winning percentage against at least this deck. So we'll probably switch to Spider Ham and take it down. Which is of course against the campaign rules. So this would be a failure, a campaign failure. But I don't expect if anyone can do it, Spider Ham will be able to, and since he's able to do Ronin uh, I don't expect he'll be able to, he'll have much trouble with Magneto, but we'll see, and that will be for another time. So, thank you for watching.